We're kind of getting the feeling that JoJo is kind of getting lost in all the man drama that's going on on the Bachelorette house this season. Well, there was no episode last night, but we did have a bonus episode last Tuesday. So we are taking today's wrap up with Leslie from 106.3 The Groove to get all caught up before the show returns next week. Yeah. Leslie. I feel like there's always so much to cover in these, so I'm just going to let you go. Okay. Well, let's start with uh, part two. We, you know, at the end of part one, we leave Chad talking to Chris Harrison, who had heard about all these threats he's making to the people because Evan the Tattletale had to tell. Yep. So he walks off, and you wonder which Chad you're going to get. And surprisingly, he walks into the group of guys and basically says, you need to leave me alone. Don't push me, especially Evan. Don't push me, and we'll be fine. Just leave me alone. And that was the end of it. And then the pool party starts, and it's all great. And I, I thought it was very funny that at one point, Evan comes out of the pool with another bloody nose, and JoJo jokes, Chad, did you do that? Like, I thought that was really quite cute. It's kind of those, too soon? <laughs> too soon? No. Too soon. <laughs> So then we finally get to the rose ceremony. Yeah. And shocking, Chad gets the last rose. I'm not shocked by that. Christian, Nick, and Allie are the three guys that get sent home. And most people are like, who? Because you don't get to know who any of these guys yeah. are. It's all about Chad. So now they are going to Pennsylvania. They leave the house forever, they say. So they go to Pennsylvania, and the first one on one. Uh, date is with Luke, who I love. I really like him too. He, I, 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 if he does not win or get the final rose, he should be the next bachelor. He is a war vet. Mm -hmm. He really talked serious about uh, about that. His his duty. He lost one of his best friends in combat. I mean, it's really touching stuff, and they really seem to have a connection. So I was really happy. He seems normal. <laughs> normal. And I thought it was nice how quickly he opened up to her because yes. I feel like that's a problem. Like maybe she's having with Jordan or the other guys that she's having that hard time. Kind of connecting. Exactly. And he, I don't know. He, he might be one of my front runners. Yeah. yeah. He is. He's my, my top two. Top two. Top okay. two, yes. And then they get his private concert. Uh, well, not private. There's people there all recording with their phones. And I'm like, how did this not leak? They must have to sign right. something that they don't leak this. Back at the house, they get the next date, which is a group date. And everybody is on it except for Chad and Alex, which everyone knows if you watch. Yep. It's a two on one date. So she's got to choose between. I thought it was pretty funny that the two that, you know, Chad is on with Alex, who have had problems yep. since the beginning. Uh, but the group date was fun. They got to go to Heinz Stadium in Philadelphia. And who is there but uh, Ben Rothenberger from the Pittsburgh right? Steelers? And he brings out two of his friends, that, um, including, including Heinz Ward, who admitted that he does watch The Bachelor. His, his, he said his wife watches and he has viewing parties. See, real men. Wait, Heinz Ward, was he not uh, on Dancing with the Stars? Yes, I think he oh, was. Oh, he's all, he's all a part oh, of yeah. all this. I say... Real men watch The Bachelor yeah. and Bachelorette. And so it was, Jordan was in his element, obviously. He's a former quarterback for the NFL, which we still don't know which teams, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 Jordan. I do like him a lot. Yeah. Uh, and so the winning team got to spend more time with her, which it was the blue team. Jordan was on that team. He finally started to open up because she, you can tell she really likes him, but mm -hmm. she's weary if the, it's real. Or yeah. not. And so he kind of opened up. I guess it was good enough for her. I still don't think that he's really opened up, but he got the group rose. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we go back to the house, and of course, there's just anytime you try to ask Chad anything, he gets defensive right. and right, wants to fight right away. In fact, the morning of the two in two one date, um, they asked him something, and he went off and basically threatened Jordan and said, You don't think I can't find you after this, ep you know, after this ends and find you? Who says that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so it was very awkward silence in the house. And that just goes right into the first part of the, the two on one date. Talk about awkward. Yeah, so awkward. They're just all three of them are sitting there going, you know, and so she takes Alex off and she's the one that said, what's the deal in the house? He actually, to his credit, said, well, I'd like to actually talk about a relationship. She wants to know what's going on. So he told her about the threats he had made that morning Chad had. So she confronts Chad on this, and he, of course, tries to squirm his way out of it. You know, he's being pushed into this. And, well, yeah. and then she's like, you know what, I really need to think. And when she said, you know, his mother passed away six months ago, I thought I was yelling at the TV yeah. at this point, going, don't do it. Don't get sucked <laughs> into this. And to her credit, when she came back to the tomb, she point blank asked him, is it 100% true about these threats that you've been making? And he had to admit, it's, it, you know, it's not false what they're saying. And she's like, I gave you a second chance. 
uh, and I'm done. You're not the person I thought you were. And I'm like, finally, mm -hmm. she sees the light. And so you see him, of course, he's standing there again. Are you serious? Yeah, like, I love that. But you think it's done. And the guys, when they take the suitcase away, the guys celebrate. They're toasting with shots. But then all of a sudden there's a knock at the door and it's Chad. He hasn't left. And, was, some, and some time has passed. Like, it's dark now. Yes. And it's creepy. It's the way he, like, approaches. And, oh, my no, God. He's not whistling. I Come on now. He's whistling. And he literally goes like this on the glass window. Like, it's a little I, Mike Myers. It's, it's like, yes. I said, it's, here's Johnny. Yeah. Like, it was creepy. And it looks like there's more. Obviously, it's not done with. Right. You know, we'll, we'll find out what happens next week. I hope that it's finally the end of Chad. So we know he's not on the show, but he's probably going to stir up a little bit more drama. So hopefully yes. we can get back to the guys, get back to love and all that other good stuff. Yes. So I have to ask before we go, who are, you said top two, who's your front runners? Jordan and Luke are my top two. Okay. But right below that I think is James Taylor. The, oh, oh you like the singer-songwriter. Oh, he's so sweet. Okay. He's cute. I really like the firefighter. I know we haven't seen much of him Grant, in the last uh, one or yeah. two episodes, but I'm, I'm excited to learn more about him. I think he's a cutie. I got a little scoop really quick for you, by the Ooh. way. Who could be the next Bachelor? You know, Chris Harrison's been divorced for a number of years. He wants to get back in the dating game. So there's rumors circulating no. that possibly could he do something with. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love that. Who helps that? I know, exactly. Right. I don't know. Call me, I'll host. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can watch The Bachelorette Monday nights on Kagan 9 and make sure you listen to Leslie also during your drive home on 1063 The Groove. You can also read Leslie's Bachelorette blog. It's great. It's on 1063thegroove.com.